profound kind politica. Well, to begin with, Dönitz was about the least unpolitical of the bunch, and that probably is why Hitler named him as his successor when Hitler committed suicide. Uh, but no, this, uh, this is really uh, utter rubbish. The Nazi conspirators adopted and publicized a program of ruthless persecution of Jews. We have no accurate estimate of how many persons died in these concentration camps, and perhaps none can ever be made. The Nazi conspirators were generally meticulous record keepers. But the records which they kept about concentration camps appear to have been quite incomplete. <clears throat> Perhaps the character of the records resulted from the indifference uh, which the Nazis felt for the lives of their victims. But occasionally we find a death book or a set of index cards. For the most part, the victims faded into an unrecorded death. Yes, yeah, good tag. Is Professor Rose yes, yes. Oh, good yeah. In the important but sinister typhus researches, the eminent Dr. Rosa appeared for the Luftwaffe. Rosa became a distinguished specialist in the fields of public health and tropical diseases. Ich habe die Kenntnisse von diesen Experimenten. Jawohl. Sie, die Durchführung der Experimente waren mir bekannt. Ich bin persönlich zum Staatssekretär Kunti. Das war der höchste medizinische Vorgesetzte im Innenministerium hingegangen und habe dort meine Bedenken gegen die Versuche vorgetragen. Herr Conti hat mich auch angehört, durchaus vernünftig, und hat gesagt, lieber Herr Rose, ich habe die Verantwortung dafür zu treffen, ob ein Impfstoff eingesetzt wird, ob ich ihn zulassen soll oder nicht. Ich muss jetzt in Kriegszeiten von dem Verbrecher im Konzentrationslager verlangen, dass auch er seinen Anteil zum allgemeinen Besten leistet. At Buchenwald, numerous healthy inmates were deliberately infected with spotted fever virus in order to keep the virus alive. Over 90% of the victims died as a result. It is our deep obligation to all peoples of the world to show why and how these things happened. Bei Malaria-Mücken, bei Fleckfieberläusen, also da kommt es auf Ideologie, weiß Gott nicht an. Eine Laus ist es vollkommen gleich, ob sie einen sowjetischen Kommunisten oder einen äh, nationalsozialistischen Hitleranhänger bei. Bitte mich nicht über Konzentrationslager zu interviewen, ja. denn ich habe mit Konzentrationslagern nichts zu tun gehabt. Ich habe in dem Prozess erfahren, dass dort ein Sammelsurium war von Leuten mit roten Winkel. Das, ich weiß nicht, ob das die politischen waren und welche mit grünem Winkel. Das waren die Berufsverbrecher. Und dann gab es eine andere Farbe mit äh, also, also, Zeug, 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 Zeugen, Zeugen Jehovas, nicht wahr? Und äh, also wegen äh, religiöser Überzeugung. Also das habe ich alles gelernt äh, im Prozess, weil das dort vorgebracht wurde. Ich weiß es nicht aus eigenem Wissen, nicht wahr? Äh, ähnliche Entscheidungen wie Conti in Deutschland haben die amerikanischen Behörden in den Vereinigten Staaten getroffen und haben... Versuche auf Menschen? Unfreiwillig? Das ist der große Unterschied. Die Amerikaner lassen sich von jedem Zuchthäusler einen Schein unterschreiben, dass er sich freiwillig an diesen Versuchen beteiligte. Die deutschen Herr Conti hat also die Unvorsichtigkeit begangen, seine Kassettler das nicht unterschreiben zu lassen. My initial connection with Nuremberg really began because I was ordered to become part of the prosecution team. I was in the army, I was given orders to report to it, and my initial connection with it was not really governed by any principled approach to this at all. Far wider are the duties which we must fulfill here. These larger obligations run to the peoples and races on whom the scourge of these crimes was laid. For them, it is far more important that these incredible events be established by clear and public proof so that no one can ever doubt that they were fact and not fatal. After all, I was not in a high position at that time. The ones who were responsible for thinking it out and, and uh, providing the motivation for Nuremberg, yes, I think they were governed 
by this desire to, to articulate these principles, to put them into application, and to do it on a basis that they would be willing to see applied to ourselves as well. Although my initial connection with Nuremberg was, uh, was as I say, uh, a matter of response to orders, I then did become interested in it. Uh, I invested nearly four years uh, of my life after the war in, uh, in con continuing to conduct the trials and was responsible for the trials that, that came after the first one. I had signed indictments against individuals accusing them of uh, crimes under the laws of war. Uh, men had been hanged and imprisoned as a result of charges that I had brought. The Einleitungsrede des Herrn Generalstaatsanwalts Taylor ist die vorwiegend politische und weltanschauliche Natur der Anklage mit denkbar größter Klarheit zum Ausdruck gebracht worden. Sie fühlen sich völlig unschuldig. Nein, ich fühle mich nicht. Ich bin unschuldig und kann das durch ein zehn Jahre lang dauerndes Gerichtsverfahren beweisen. Und ist hingerichtet, Handlose ist tot, an Kieferkrebs gestorben, Ginsken ist tot, Gebhardt ist hingerichtet, Schröder ist tot, Rostock ist tot. Herbrandt. Military Tribunal 1 has found and has judged you guilty of war crimes, crimes against humanity, as charged under the indictment heretofore filed against you. Military Tribunal 1 sentences you, Karl Brandt, to death by hanging, and may God have mercy upon your soul. The officer of the guard will remove the defendant Brandt. How do you feel about capital punishment? If you are asking about capital punishment in the United States, I'm among its opponents because it has come to be applied in an in a irrational way. I don't believe that I am completely opposed to capital punishment, however, if one assumes that it is in a measured and rational application. How could I be? Uh, if I had been opposed to capital punishment, I, uh, I would not have uh, been involved with... Well, you could have changed. I mean, you I could, could have, have been changed. in favor then and... I don't believe so. I don't think I've changed in that respect. Ich habe es dann auf 15 Jahre reduziert worden. Dann bin ich wegen der guten Führung nach 10 Jahren entlassen worden. Aber es kommt immer wieder vor, dass ich öffentlich angegriffen werde. 1972 auf dem Kongress für Gynäkologie trat ein Herr auf und fragte, Herr Professor Rose, sind Sie der Professor Rose, der wegen Verbrechen gegen die Menschlichkeit zu lebenslänglich im Zuchthaus verurteilt worden ist. Und da sagte ich natürlich, meine Antwort war natürlich, ich danke Ihnen dafür, dass Sie diese Frage hier in aller Öffentlichkeit und nicht in meinem, hinter meinem Rücken stellen, denn ich kann Ihnen antworten, jawohl, ich bin der, ich bin mit ihm identisch, aber ich kann Ihnen empfehlen, wenden Sie sich nach Frankfurt an den Bundesdisziplinarhof, da werden Sie aktenmäßig feststellen können, dass sie aufgrund desselben Sachverhaltes und einer sehr viel genaueren Untersuchung nicht verurteilt, sondern wegen erwiesener Unschuld freigesprochen worden. Many people of that age uh, were involved and therefore the whole idea of, uh, of imposing a guilt feeling on this is very repugnant to them. I think one of the reasons why the Anne Frank movie was so popular was because you never see any Germans in it. You hear them come up the stairs but you never see anybody. And so the German people could get a feeling of Ah, yes, it was all terrible, but, but nothing has ever brought home to them as an individual about it. I guess my feelings about the Americans and the American history have changed more than feelings about the Germans. Uh, the fact of the matter is that uh, when, when I began with the Nuremberg trials, I didn't have strong anti-German feelings. This is perhaps a result of World War I. You may have noticed that I've got some old posters from World War I. Uh, uh, around here and there. I was just old enough at the time to be aware of a great deal of anti-German sentiment. And I <coughs> discovered also that a good many of the accusations about atrocities in Belgium were more myth than reality. And therefore, I went into Germany with the feeling that the Germans are not very different from us. Did you ever think, uh, perhaps, in that situation, I might have acted in that particular way, that particular instance, and then have gone on with the prosecution? I often wondered how I and my friends and uh, others whom I knew back home uh, would have reacted under these pressures. That's certainly true. 
Uh, I suppose that having wondered, <clears throat> I didn't pursue the question further. There's no way I could answer it. I mean, I wasn't tested in that way, and I don't know. Uh, and, of course, if everybody gave up the attempt to impose uh, principles on conduct because they themselves might yield under pressure, uh, that would not be a very sensible solution to the situation practically. No, all I could do was wonder. Wonder, doubt. We cannot make history over again here, but we can see that it is written true. That must uh, plague anybody who has been uh, seriously involved in situations that test people very deeply. You ever felt that prosecuting people for crime is somehow persecuting them? No, I can't say that I have. I have felt that prosecuting anybody for crime, in a sense, is self-righteous and setting oneself up as competent to invoke a, a, a process of punishment against them. There is something distasteful about it. I suppose I'd feel the same way if I were a judge. The judge must think of his judging as being in the name of principles and not that he is peculiarly equipped, but that he is the instrument through which the voice of principles speaks. The same thing applies to the prosecutors, to the judge. Of course, if other feelings come into it, if, uh, if, if one does uh, have a feeling of vengeance, and many people have, I think, wrongfully uh, accused the Nuremberg prosecutors of being motivated by vengeance, uh, then, of course, he does become a persecutor. Ich hatte drei Söhne, die während dieses Krieges alle drei als Offiziere an der Front gestanden haben. Der Jüngste ist 1941 in Russland gefallen. Der Zweite als Major in Russland verschollen. Und der älteste Sohn als Major he was the stereotype of a German general. He was a big, handsome man who looked well in uniform, uh, very arrogant, direct bearing, and all that. It was restricted to the prosecution of Axis criminals. That uh, It didn't, therefore, cause us to scrutinize our own conduct the way we would have had to if it had been a two-way street instead of a one-way street. In the Einsatzgruppen trial, in which uh, the defendants were SS men who uh, went to the Eastern Front and picked up all the Jews and commissars and, uh, and slaughtered them, uh, in that trial, defense counsel brought up the bombing of Hiroshima and said, if, if, if that is not criminal, what is worse, after all, about, uh, about what we did in so the Soviet Union? So at that stage, one, one had to start thinking about it if you hadn't already or a great deal more about Dresden the time it happened than about Nagasaki and Hiroshima, uh, because uh, uh, this was thought about and talked about in Air Force circles in advance of the doing, of course. And uh, I was closely acquainted with a number of British officers who thought that there was no reason for the bombing of Dresden and advised strongly against it. Very cynical to punish the Germans for bombing Rotterdam and Belgrade when we were all walking around loose having bombed Hiroshima and Dresden. Even the most warlike of peoples have recognized in the name of humanity some limitations on the savagery of warfare. Did not even at the time the restrictions of the London Charter contradict this high idealism that Matt Jackson expressed. I mean, the fact that yeah. Allied war crimes were specifically excluded. Mm -hmm could not be referred to by defense counsel. Sure. <clears throat> these, were, uh, these were very uh, uh, unfortunate uh, lapses in the charter. What about sharing the prosecution with the people, as history seems to have established, were responsible for the Katyn massacre? It would have seemed to me self-righteous to uh, refuse to participate in the prosecution with the Russians simply because I knew or suspected or thought that other Russians might at other times have been involved in the Khartoum massacre. This would not have seemed to me to make sense. With the knowledge we have, um, there's very little doubt that these murders were in fact committed by the Russians. <clears throat> uh, Justice Jackson strongly urged the Russians to leave it out of the to leave the Khartoum accusation out of the indictment, because he well knew that this was uh, a a very dubious matter. The Russians insisted on keeping it in. And the Russians then did introduce evidence to establish that the Germans did it. The German Defense Council introduced evidence and were allowed to introduce evidence to show that the Russians did it.